What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video, I'm gonna do a good old-fashioned silver unboxing. Now, this is a special one because this is my first unboxing of 2022, so let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, let's kick off this unboxing. Now, uh, I actually recently did get some questions on my channel about silver stacking, and I want to answer them. The first question I got was uh, pretty straightforward. It was a gentleman just asked, what is silver stacking? And this is a pretty easy answer. It's just buying physical silver. So uh, some people look at silver stacking as a sort of a way to protect themselves from inflation. Other people look at it as sort of a savings account, right? You buy physical silver and it's real money. So you're pretty much just converting your dollars into silver and uh, you're getting a nice savings account. Um, it does protect you from inflation, but also it's super fun. <laughs> so uh, I started silver stacking back in 2018, which means I've now started my fifth year of silver stacking. So that is exciting. And uh, I've got my guardhouse box of half dollars out here because we're adding some more half dollars to the stack. There we go. Looks like uh, 10, 20, 25 dollars. I think that's right. Let's take a look here. Ooh, we got an old one. Look at that. Barber half dollar, 1907. Wow. That is super cool. So, one barber. Here's another barber. So, that's a dollar face. Uh, $2, $3. Four dollars, five dollars. These are all barbers. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. I should uh, go through these, see if there's any rare old dates. Looks like this is the oldest one right here. 1895. That is so cool. Some silver from the 1800s. Wow, that is a great looking half dollar. That is worth a lot more than just the price of silver. That's collectible right there. So uh, that's cool. We got some barbers. And then I'm not sure what these are. Looks like a Kennedy up top. They should all be 90% silver. So they're probably all 1964 Kennedy half dollars. Um, one other question that I got about silver stacking was uh, what's the best type of silver to stack? Okay, there we go. Now there's really no right or wrong answer regarding stacking silver. I mean, if you're buying physical silver, you're doing it the right way. But there are some types of silver that are better than others, and it really depends on where you live. I mean, if you live in the United States of America, like myself, well, then silver rounds, silver bars, junk silver, sovereign silver coins i mean these are all awesome things to be stacking but if you live in a different country well then it sort of depends on what's popular in your area and something that i've always suggested that people do is go down to their local coin shop and simply ask the people hey what is good to be buying here what's the best for me because a lot of times if you buy physical silver from a local coin shop and then you want to sell it at some point, you'll actually take it back to that same local coin shop. So if it's something that they like to buy and sell, if it's popular, then whatever you have is going to be super liquid and it's going to be a great option for you personally. So that's kind of my number one recommendation. Go to your local coin shop see what they like to buy and sell, and then stack that. Now, you don't have to stack it exclusively, but a large portion of your stack should be made up of liquid silver. When I say liquid, I just mean something that's easy to offload if you ever need the cash. So, uh, looks like we got $10 face of BU Kennedy halves, and then these appear to be a little bit more worn down. These are probably 
jingling around in someone's pocket. I'm going to keep these two piles separate because these are so shiny. I mean, let's just show the difference here. Um, another recommendation I would have for new silver stackers is to get to know the owner at your local coin shop. You know, go in there, introduce yourself, and uh, just become friends with them because they'll give you good deals, they'll give you tips on stacking, and you can really learn a lot that way. So if you have multiple shops in your area, go to all of them. I mean, don't just go to one. Check out the prices at every single shop, and obviously some shops will have better prices than others, so those are going to be the ones you want to go to more often. But uh, occasionally one shop will be completely sold out of everything. You'll have to go to a new shop. So uh, for me, I have, I think, about 10 or 15 local coin shops in my area, and I've been to most of them. But that's something I need to get better at. I need to uh, go out and go shopping more often. <laughs> there we go. Sometimes it's just easier to buy stuff online, but uh, you can get better deals locally. So don't only buy online. Don't only buy locally. I would say do a mixture of the two and uh, just try and get good deals all around. This one's actually pretty shiny. Look at that one. That's a good looking Kennedy half dollar there. If you have any questions about silver stacking, you can always put those down below in the comments section. We are making some good progress with the half dollar box. Looks like we have, uh, let's see, how many to go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About probably $80 face to go until this thing is fully stocked. That'll be uh, $280 face value in junk silver half dollars. We're gonna have to start a new tube for the Barbers. So we have some half full tubes, the Kennedys, the Walkers, the Benjis, and then we're gonna have a Barber tube. That's kinda cool. It would be pretty sweet to have uh, a whole tube of Barber half dollars in here. Would be pretty awesome. There's actually a lot of uh, commemorative half dollars as well that the US Mint has made, but uh, those are rather expensive and I don't imagine <laughs> I'll be stacking very many of them, so there you go. This is definitely one of my big goals for 2022. I wanna finish out this half dollar box, check it off the list, and then I can work on something else. It's nice to have these goals that are measurable, obtainable, you know, all that kind of stuff. I am happy with the progress I've made so far, but we still have a little ways to go. So uh, anyway, that's going to wrap it up for my first unboxing in 2022. I hope you did enjoy the video, and I will see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons, out.